Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this email from Nassim, and I'm going to paraphrase this. Uh, because it's, it's a fairly long email here, but he's basically got two questions on it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the, the first question is really about how to get into management. He wants to get into a leadership and management role. He doesn't have any experience. Uh, he wants to know, you know, what should he be doing in order to, to get into there. And then the second one is he wants to know about, like, recruiters always asking for his current pay, his pay slip, and, and what to do about that. So, Let's talk about, first of all, the the whole management, like how do you get into management leadership position? So as a developer, right? So uh, I think Nassim said he has been a developer for eight years, which is good. I mean, obviously he's got enough experience. You have to have some amount of experience to be able to manage other people. The the But like, how do you get in when you don't have any experience? Well, it starts off with, with unofficial leadership positions, right? So I would say that, you know, what you really want to do is you want to start uh, being a, a team lead if you can. Um, I actually wrote a blog post, I believe, on becoming a team lead and that uh, you should read that and it talks a lot about the kind of attributes and how to be a good team lead and how to do that. And it doesn't have to be an official position as well. You can just start being a leader and, and, and that's, you know, that's, that's going to be a, a key skill. Now, that's, that's going to prepare you. If you've been taking management and leadership courses, I don't know, some of those are good, some of those are, 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 are bad. But what I would say is, like, if you're trying to do this in a company and you're having trouble, which it seems like Nassim is, there's, there's a few things that you want to do. First of all, make it known what you want, right? So everyone you talk to, tell them about your aspirations. I want to be a manager. That I want to go the management route. Talk to your boss and say, I want to go the management route. You know, talk to, make it known. So that's, that's, that's number one. Two, look and see what the managers, like if you want to be a corporate executive, how are they dressing? right? This is something I think a lot of people ignore, but you want to look the part. You want to play the part as much as possible. So uh, I, I, this, is, this is something that will have an influence. People are judged superficially, and if you look the part and you're acting the part, that's going to make a big difference. The other thing I would say is, this is uh, sort of a tactic that you can do, is pick a mentor high up in the company, maybe a couple of levels of management up, and just say, hey, could I just, could, could I just meet with you like once a week for 15 minutes max? I promise I won't take up a lot of your time. I, I, you're just, and, and this is what you do. You're gonna sugarcoat the hell out of this, right? You're gonna be like, man, I, like I saw how you executed on this, give specifics, say, and, and be honest, it's something that you, you admire, say, you know, and, and look up their history and have a lot of, a lot of details and say, I really admire you because of these attributes. You have courage, you do this, right? You're, you're a person that I really respect. I want to become like you. <laughs> Those are magic words. Like I admire you and want to become like you. And, and remember, this is, might be someone like a couple levels up in the company, someone who you normally wouldn't have access to, but you're just, the only thing you're laying on the table is that you like them a lot, you admire them, you feel like they, that you just want to learn from them and, you, and you're only going to take up 15 minutes of their time a week, right? This is the key because you don't want to take up their time. And they're going to give you more than that, I promise you, but you, you, and you don't say, I want you to mentor me. Do not say that. That, that implies an obligation. Do not obligate them, right? But you're going to send this email and, and you're going to ask them to do that and just say that you want to learn from them. Just, and that is going to, I'll tell you, as far as getting into management, that's probably going to be the biggest thing that, that you can do because that person most likely is going to take you under their wing and tutor you and groom you for the position. And when, the, when that position opens up, they're going, to want their, they're going to want their boy, their girl in there and, they're, and that, that's going to get you in. That's, that's a, like a shortcut to it. You know, but, but be sincere. I'm not, I'm not saying like game the system. I'm saying honestly, like you're going to write this email and you're going to be sincere. You're going to find sincere things to appreciate and that, that's going to be something that, that I think will help you a lot. Of course, you know, read a lot of business books. You know, get the business aspect. Any type of management is going to involve uh, two things that is going to be business skills, right? Because ultimately we're at the job to make money. And if you know how to make money, that would, is going to, is going to make you valuable to the company and two social skills, 
right? You cannot be a manager if you are not dynamic in some way dealing with people. You're gonna have to be out of your shell, be able to deal with people and situations. Uh, go to Toastmasters if you, if you have any kind of trouble speaking in front of people. Do things like start a YouTube channel and start doing YouTube videos, honestly. Like that'll get you really out of your shell and really relating to people, uh, it, it, things like that. So pick things like that to do that are gonna develop that, that aspect of you while you're doing the, this strategy and, and getting kind of your, your mentor. You could also even, you know, let's say that within your own company this doesn't work, you could email someone at a different company that's kind of up and say, I've seen what you've done, I admire you. And, and again, don't use the word mentor, but I, could I just come to your office, you know, and, and or could I buy you lunch <laughs> once a week, something like that, or take 15 minutes of your time? You know, it's gonna be, you're probably gonna get that, that offer accepted like 75% of the time. So, uh, you know, this, this is what, what I would, would really recommend. And, 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 and be careful, another thing I'd say is be careful who you hang around with, right? Because if you want to go into management and be a manager and you're hanging around with the kind of, uh, let's say that you're a software developer and you're hanging around with the warehouse guys and you're going out and having drinks with them, uh, it's, it's not going to happen. You're going to be viewed and, and lumped in with them. It's, that might even threaten your software development job, to be honest with you. So be careful who you hang around with. Try to hang around with the other managers if you can. Try to get invited to their, their stuff if you can. So uh, that's, that, that's all I have to say about that. You did have the question about the pay slip thing. I'm actually going to pull a trick on you here <laughs> because I've actually covered this in depth. I have a chapter in my book, uh, Soft Skills Software Developer's Life Manual, that talks about how to negotiate your salary and it deals specifically with this problem of people asking for your pay. Uh, so definitely read that. Uh, you know, the only reason why I'm pointing you there is because I, I don't need to rehash that whole thing. There's a lot to negotiating a salary. I don't want to just give you, you know, sort of a half answer there. But anyway, thanks for the question. I think this is uh, one that a lot of people are wondering that are trying to get into management. And uh, and if you've got some some ideas out there, there's there's one person in particular I'm thinking of. Uh, send a comment here. Put a link to your blog, buddy, if you if you, if you watch this. And uh, it, uh, you know, and, uh, and let me know what you think. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.